Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I just want to say thanks for stopping in, and I hope you're having a great day, and uh, I appreciate you just checking out my video, and we're here at Circuit Paul Ricard, and uh, I did a uh, setup for the Huracan Evo, I was thinking about racing it in the in one of the CP races, but just didn't, never did, picked uh, some other cars, but uh, you know, I got a decent setup for it, I think it's pretty good, um, and definitely fast. Uh, down that long back straightaway, which is a huge key here. But let's just watch a couple laps, and I'll show you the setup. And then you can, uh, uh, I'll put a link to the setup in the description. All right, so let's get this thing started. And of course, we'll go inside the car. That was a 155.79. First, you can see I still have 65 liters. I started with 80. Like I said in the other video, that from now on, all my setups will be at 80 liters just to kind of. That's a good right around uh, range for a 45 minute race. Plus it's still not too far away from a, an hour race. No drafting or anything, 173, solid. That's pretty good. Especially when you're doing it on your own. And there was basically no wind. I think it was like a side wind at like four, at four. So I mean, it's definitely not, uh, not even a tailwind. That was a 155.54. That was my fast lap. Right, let's go to the second, the not the last lap, but the one just from the second one to the last lap. Last lap I went out and I was pushing hard and went out of bounds, kind of messed it up. So let's just watch this one. Pretty solid. I mean, I'm really happy with it, especially uh, for a you know pretty low downforce package. It's looking really solid. Look at it from this this angle here. Yeah, look at it. it just looks really smooth. 
I mean, as far as it's not, you know, sliding all over, leaning too much, you know, for there, that's not bad at all. there or cut that apex a little I needed to go a little bit deeper so I could come uh, on the other side of that curb That was a 156.18. So, I mean, still not a bad lap, really, at, you know, near 30 minutes. So, let's go back to the garage. And there's the timetables. And like I said, I messed up that last lap. And one on before that. It's still a 56, but I went out of bounds. But you got a lot of 56s, real low 56s, low and uh, some 55s. Like I said, I ran a couple 55s there, and then another 55 there, and again, a lot of them real low 56s, 5016s, 56 50s. So um, yeah, another 56 O. So again, I think it's a solid setup, especially no drafting or anything, and uh, that much fuel. So let's go to the setup. And we got 26 left front, 25 four left rear, 27 right front, and 26 three right rear. The toe is negative 0 0.02, with the camber at negative 3.8 on the left front, negative 3.7 on the right front. The caster is 13. The toe on the rear is 0.1, with the camber at negative 3.2 on the left rear and negative 3.1 on the right rear. Electronics are four and five. Fuel will have 80 liters. Um, there's the brakes. Or I mean the brakes. The tires it only had light graining on the right front. That's it. All of them else are clean. And that's probably that right front. This is that double right. Sometimes that right front gets a little graining from sliding right through there on that double right hander. That right, you know, it unloads on this right side. So it probably, I get, you get a lot of graining on the right front. But I mean, it looks really good for the Lamborghini. A um, little more wear on the rear than on the front than I than I like, um, but you know after 30 minutes, Lamborghini is definitely harder on the rear tires. Um, probably you could back up on some of the the brake a little bit if you wanted to help that out, but um, that's still looks good. Uh, and of course, I did a few ex extra, you know, did some other stints that you know made some adjustments. That's why I was on that that uh, set that tire set. Uh, the anti roll bar six on the front, 56 on the brake bias. Again, you could probably go to 57, and you would be probably you know all right from there, and then go down to 56 if you want to. It, it might help the uh, rear tires a little bit. Um, the springs on the front are 190,000, with the bump stop rate of 1100 on the left front and 1000 on the right front, and the bump stop range of three on the left front and five on the right front. On the rear, the springs are 164,000 with a bump stop rate of 800 on the left rear and 700 on the right rear. And the bump stop range of 15 on the left rear and 25 on the right rear. Any roll bar is 3 and the preload on the diff is 40. Shocks on the front are 14, 13, 24, and 26. And on the rear, they're 15, 13, 22, and 21. Arrow, I have 57 in the front. 58 in the rear with a two rear wing and a two and a two and the brake ducts. And of course the brake ducts and the tires all vary with temperature. I mean again you can see the temperature is 26. So anything in the mid 20s you're good. But you know as soon as you start getting you know a lot hotter you would have to adjust tire pressures and brake ducts accordingly. Um, I messed a lot a lot with the ride heights trying to get it to um, behave and go run that fat, fast right and double right and still have good speed down the straightaway and it really checks all the boxes i mean you know i could you could set it up to where um you know i could go through the, the each end of the you know first sector and third sector a lot better but you're going to sacrifice down the straightaway you're probably going to lose um you know probably a couple miles an hour down the straightaway which you know again 
it's six half dozen the other. So you I mean you could do that, but I know a lot of people like these loud low downforce to have you know really really good streets you know speed down the straightaway. And I'm sure drafting that thing would be, you know, you'd be really doing some speed down down the uh, back straightaway. So um, again, I think it's a really solid package and it's still really stable. Um, and uh, that's the key is being stable going into that corner um, in that uh, fast right hander. And like I said, I would back this up to 57. If you if you thought the rear end was a little bit too nervous, that's what I would do. And I kind of you know kind of saving some of those rear tires, you know, putting them in the bank so to speak. And uh, that would probably help as far as uh, being a little more consistent. And then uh, also you might be able to um, go down one on the rear to make them equal 57 and 57. Um, wouldn't be so bad. But, I mean, like I said, I, I think uh, it's a really good setup, and hopefully you'll try it out and let me know in the comment and feedback. Any, you know, feedback and comments are great. I appreciate it, and um, I sure hope you set your personal best with it and uh, get some good lap time so you can uh, basically uh, duplicate mine or better. And uh, I hopefully you come back and visit really soon. I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, y'all take care, and we'll see you the next time.